everybody. This video is about my Victoria Aveyard book signing experience. If you are not familiar with Victoria Aveyard, she is a young adult fiction author and she also wrote the books Red Queen, Cruel Crown, and also Glass Sword. Also, if you have noticed, I'm in a different background because I am in my brother's room right now because he has better lighting than I have in my room and this is just natural lighting in a single light bulb. Now about the book signing. So I went to the event at about 10.30 and it will start at 2 p.m. and the registration starts at 10 and I expected that there wouldn't be so much people there. But I was wrong. <laughs> so the book signing was held at uh, Glorieta at the National Bookstore there. And I was outside Glorieta and I saw that there was this long line. And I thought that it was leading to Jayco, a donut store or coffee shop. I am not really sure what really is mainly they sell donuts and I thought that people were lining up early in the morning for donuts and I thought it was crazy and then later I found out that this was the line for Victoria Aveyard's book signing and this line was just the line for the registration area <sighs> I didn't expect that so many people are going to be at the event. So because of this, I wasn't ready for my fate. That I was going to wait for 9 and almost 10 hours just to get my book signed and meet Victoria Aveyard. Just so you know, I went alone to the book signing and it was the day after my birthday, so March 6. So I went to the event alone, to the book signing, and fortunately I was able to meet some new book lover friends, which I sadly lack. Guys, if you love books and you don't have any friends to share your thoughts or what you think about your books that you have been reading, I suggest that you go to a book signing or any event that is book related and you might probably meet some new people. Who loves books. So I mentioned that I waited for hours just to get my book signed and meet Victoria Aveyard. And the reason that I waited that long is I was number 845 out of 1,000 plus people. And this, and because of this, because I was number 845, my signature was like the initials of the author. So let's just get to the part where I meet Victoria Aveyard. So I waited hours and hours and hours and fortunately yes I was able to meet some people so we killed some time by talking to each other sharing our thoughts about the books and yes finally I met Victoria Aveyard. I look like I just finished hiking and she was very fresh and I got my book signed just so you'd know I only have the Red Queen because you know I was really there for the experience and my birthday was yesterday uh, March 5th and the day the book signing was March 6th and I was really there for the experience I'm not that much of a I'm not that much of a fan girl um, if she were Tolkien I would have been there three days before the event <laughs> but yeah this is my book and this is her signature. Also, there were so many people and it was about 9.30 or almost 10 when I left the event that the only words that Victoria Aveyard was able to tell me was, thank you. <laughs> and I told her, you must be really tired and she replied, thank you. <laughs> So that was my very first book signing experience and I never expected it to be that way. After everything, the hours waiting and also 
I was really tired. I was eventually able to meet her. I didn't give up and get my book signed. And also it was such a great experience and I have learned from it. So in the future, I will go to a book signing event earlier <laughs> because I don't want to wait for hours anymore. But, and also I look forward to meeting the people that I met in that book signing. It's awesome people. And that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. May your hair never wither. Keep on reading. Bye.